o'clock now without further ado. Let's just get on the blower to Kinsey Schofield, who's a royal expert and a, a damn brilliant woman uh, all through. Kinsey, how are you doing, my love? Alex, you're doing such a great job. I love Kevin, but I, I sure love watching you at these at this time over here in Los Angeles. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it myself. It's quite nice actually being on at the later time. It means I get a daytime to sit in the sunshine, which is something I haven't seen for a while in this year, nasty, grizzly, grim old England. Uh, right, let's talk about uh, Harry and Meghan, who haven't uh, stayed in grim, grizzly old England and are with you over there in California, but not right now. They have gone to Colombia, and it seems to me yet again, and mired in controversy. So they, we expect to actually see them in Colombia on Thursday. And what they're going to do is really up in the air. It sounds like they're going there to promote their child safety online initiatives. Also, the government's going to take them around and, and show them a few places and show them. Megan is going to speak to some young women, some ambitious women. Um, we, we expect to see that on the agenda. But of course, the Telegraph reporting that these two are in reality, ignorantly being used as a political pawn by the left wing government um, that, as you know, as well as I do, has been, you know, haunted by some of this corruption over the last I don't even know how long, probably longer than you and I have been alive. Uh, but there, there is obviously controversy surrounding this trip because a, what makes Harry and Meghan an authority on children's safety online? And B, why is Prince Harry going to Colombia when he says the UK is not safe enough for his wife, but the UK and the US have severe travel warnings for Americans, for, for you know, anybody traveling to Colombia. They say, hey, don't do it. You might, you, there's a chance you could get kidnapped. There are gangs, there are drug gangs there. You might get in the middle of something crazy. Not safe enough for the UK, but safe enough for not only Colombia, but Nigeria as well. Yeah, it's just so random, isn't it? They say we don't want to be royals. We want to go and start a new life over in California. And yet they seem to want to just do nothing but these faux royal tours, um, which is just weird, quite frankly. Uh, and I've heard that yet again, uh, an, a member of staff, uh, the new chief of staff, has quit. Yeah, so this individual's name is Josh Kettler. He was reported to quit on short notice. However, you saw Harry and Meghan's team quickly contact People Magazine. They wanted it put out there, at least here in the States, that this was a job on a trial basis and the decision to part ways was mutual with both sides agreeing it wasn't the right fit. I think that the fact that it's coming from people is highly questionable. They they tend to lean very pro Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan took them to Nigeria with them. They have exclusive access. But remember, this reminds me of when royal author Valentine Lowe reported in his book Courtiers that Samantha Cohen, the former private secretary, um, at the request of the late Queen Elizabeth to Harry and Meghan, she compared working with them to working with teenagers. Last month, Alex, we saw Dominic Reed, the CEO of the Invictus Games. He was the CEO from the very beginning. He quit his job. Oh, they've lost almost 20 employees Whoa. since 2015. That is quite some staff turnover. Um, do you think they're getting paid for this tour to Colombia? Because they don't seem to be doing a great deal at the moment that could be earning them some cash. I think that that is, that is, uh, that is very likely. I think that, that there is something in it for both sides. Um, if you listen to the locals that believe that Harry and Meghan are being manipulated on this trip to change the narrative, to distract from some of the corruption happening there, I think that it benefits the, the Colombian government. They have royals, quote unquote, that show up, which tries, you know, cleans up their image a bit. But it also, Harry and Meghan have to leave my country. They have to leave your country to be taken seriously anywhere. Um, this is, Harry and Meghan are so desperate to be considered thought leaders that they will go to anywhere, even if it is a dangerous country, even if it isn't a, a country that is considered corrupt, because they want those glossy images and they want people to look at them a, a certain way that they are just simply not looking at here we got joe rogan slamming them on their own network on netflix oh you know within the last few days and that's just one of a million examples i could give you of hollywood you know tearing into them and and making them look like the joke that they have truly become 
Yeah, and, and very quickly, Scofield, because I haven't got much... Uh, Schofield? I just called you Schofield, like we're like a rugby team. I love that. I love very it. I can't wait to let's, let's solve a crime together. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, very quickly, though, maybe they're sizing up Colombia to move there in case uh, Harry's visa application uh, is revealed to the public. Now, that's a very good point. I do think we might see Meghan um, endorse Kamala, participate somehow in Kamala's campaign. They are terrified of Donald Trump because he is in a position and might have the you-know-what to actually go after them and, and pursue something like that. Yeah, do you know, I had a, a good a good chat with the man who started all of that. And uh, Kins, uh, at some point, I'm going to message you because I've got some pretty hot gossip that I probably shouldn't say on air. I know, but bet you wish you could all join in uh, in that little chit-chat. A scoff, well done. Thank you ever so much. And let's catch up again super soon. Right, I'm going to take an advert break now, but uh, don't go anywhere because there's still so much to talk about. And then the latter half of this last hour is going to be all about you. Back in a moment.